Hello everybody, uh, it's Haley Kyoko. Very excited to be here to share my beauty secrets, my beauty routine, regime. Let's get going. So I swear by Kate Somerville because it's just really light and it smells really good. It makes me feel like I'm in a spa. So I put it on my face like this. All that. No, get it in. I'm not really sure if you're supposed to rub your face this hard, so you know, take all these notes with a grain of salt. Um, I'm gonna wash my face. Most of the time, to be honest, I just wash my face and I go. Um, I had this thing like growing up where I was like, if I don't put on makeup on my face, my face is gonna have to work harder to look better. And so, I'm like so weird. So I like thought I was conditioning my face by not putting on makeup growing up. So I feel like it worked, like my skin. I feel like I have to force myself to look better because I don't wear as much makeup. But I think that that's probably not reality. We all look great in makeup and here I go. So I don't know how to do like crazy contouring or you know, the artistic stuff. So I'm gonna cheat and use this mask, tighten up my face, feeling a little puffy. I'm normally very puffy because I'm an artist and I cry a lot. I wore one in the car one time, really freaked some people out. Oh, it matches my robe. Gorgeous. I tried to eat while having one of these, but it doesn't quite work, so. Just let this sit for like 10 minutes, you know, like check your phone, etc. I look like I have melted craft singles on my face. Ah, fresh, tight. Okay, so now my favorite part of my day is putting my moisturizer on. I have really dry skin and so when I wash my face, my face is like <sighs> So I put um, the Kate Somerville Nourish daily moisturizer and this is really cool because it keeps germs away it's this like pumper so look watch you swipe it like this and i just put it on my face i struggled a lot with cystic acne growing up and even like in the past recent years and i heard that cystic acne is like caused by imbalance i'm not a doctor but that's what someone told me and so i started taking multivitamins and literally my face cleared up because I used to get, you can see I have scars on my face from my acne and that was all like cystic and now it's gone. I used to have like acne on my back and so you just, you try to like maintain as best as you can and um, my mom says you're only young once which is actually quite stressful, it's not encouraging. So now that I have prepped my skin I am going to do my light little like, oh my gosh, I need to look awake. I have a meeting in 10 minutes look. Okay, so first things first is I use this MAC concealer. I always have bags under my eyes, so it just kind of like wakes me up a bit. So I just do like a little bit of that, just like that. So funny story, growing up, I used to be in this like girl group that I rarely talk about and they all knew how to do their makeup, but I didn't know how to do my makeup. And it was really sad because nobody helped me do my makeup. And so everyone's makeup looked so good. And I go to these meetings and I have like blue eyeshadow, like up to the, I for some reason thought that eyeshadow goes from here to here. So the whole, it was really sad. But now my best friend's a makeup artist. So take that. My mom's an ice skating choreographer, so I couldn't really get makeup advice from her because the makeup she does is like show makeup. You know, it's like made to be seen from thousands of feet away. I didn't even know people wax their eyebrows until I was like 21. And, and I waxed my eyebrows and it was like a new day had started. People don't tell you that kind of stuff. You have to figure it out on your own, which is why this stuff is really great. This is like, do you see the difference? Hi, <laughs> welcome to my tutorial. Okay, so now I'm awake. So I normally will put this on some of the red dots because 
you have blemishes here and there. I also just get red around my nose. This is Cogendo. It mimics skin, so it's light, and I, I like to go light. Now, I'm going to use Hula Benefit Bronzer. Little old trick, little pat the brush. I'm just gonna do a little three here. It's nice to look bronze, tan, like you been at the beach, even though you've been inside all day. So just do this. Blush, Nards, it's going on my hand, like so. I think we all are scared of being judged, and so people always ask me, were you scared to release girls like girls or just, I don't know, be yourself? And yeah, like all of us are, I grew up literally terrified of being judged because I knew that I was different and that there were certain categories of what gay looked like and, and just what stereotypes are and the negative connotation behind it. So I was really scared to release my music and be honest and also, I guess I just didn't think about the fact that all of us are going through similar struggles and that there are other gay people out there. <laughs> you end up growing up and thinking like, oh, I'm the only one, <laughs> which is like quite selfish, but you're like, oh my gosh, I'm the only one because you don't have um, the resources or the outlets or um, the TV shows or the movies um, to make you feel like you're not alone. And so I made it a point with my music to make sure people don't feel alone. I almost forgot, while I'm doing my makeup, it's good to moisturize your lips. I always have dry lips. My friends always make fun of me because I just put it everywhere. But you know, it's good to kind of cover the bases. I'm using this MAC Power Surge color. And what I'm gonna do here, it's great. You can be really messy and mess up. So you just do this. And then take your finger, blend it in. I'm like shocked. Every time I do this stuff, I'm like, okay, I'm gonna do what my friend taught me. I don't know why I do this weird face. I do this when I do my makeup. I'm also really severely left-handed. So it's really, I have to like use my left hand for everything. Okay, cool. So like that just gave it a little like zhuzh. Again, very minimal situation here. So I'm gonna just be a little extra and put it in the waterline here. You can't see it. Oh, it's like, see a little shimmer? Ooh, 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 ooh. Curl my lashes. Some people get like the lash, like bend thing, which I've gotten before. Oh yeah, those lash lifts are so cool. But when you can't get one of those, you use the old fashioned cruncher. <laughs> These are not called crunchers, but I'm gonna call it a cruncher. So I'm using this MAC mascara because I'm Asian and it keeps my eyes, I like my eyes being open. Keeps my eyes open, it's lightweight. It's not waterproof, but it stays on all day. And like, if you cry, you just pat around it. Okay, we're almost done. I wanna add a little glow. This is ColourPop. It's really cheap, six bucks. Yeah. Let me blend it out. Put a little on my nose. Give it a little bit of hiya. Oh, my chin. Growing up, Gwen Stefani has always been the one because she is beautiful and herself and unique and uh, wild and funny, but she was also smart. And she, you know, had lamb and her clothing line, which I loved. I also love Rihanna because she is a businesswoman. She is taking over the world, building an empire, inspiring and encouraging beauty and love. And I love that. I had so much fun doing the little cameo in, in T-Swift's video. She had like, I had this huge makeup trailer, got my makeup and hair done. It was really luxurious and awesome. And she's been a huge supporter of my music. 
um, and just a good friend. I get like OCD, like I have to get like the exact triangle corner in my lip. I don't know what that's called. But I just kind of go on the outside. It just accents it a little bit. This is Kevin Aquan lip liner. And then I love, oh, I use this all the time, the Hourglass. It's just like a great everyday lip where it's like lip, no lip, no lip, lip. I eat so much, so I literally have to reapply all the time because I'm always eating and wiping my lips off, but it, this lasts a long time if you're not eating every two seconds like I am. Fenty Beauty. Smells, I'm all about smells, it smells good. I put this on, uh, I actually wore this in my I Wish music video and my hair didn't get caught in it. Look at this. So it's not sticky, which I love. I don't like sticky lip gloss. For my final act, I've got a couple more items. Um, because my skin is dry always, I use this Tatcha Satin Skin Mist. It's a beautiful bottle too. And I just spray it down my face. It keeps my T-line in order. So for my 18th final, no, this is the final final. You guys, sunscreen is so important. I went to the beach the other day with my friends and we're like mature and smart and we just laid out the beach. We're like, yeah, we're not gonna put on sunscreen and we were all lobsters and I, or my skin was like peeling for days. I'm like, why am I being dumb? I need to wear sunscreen all the time. So staying loyal because I have sensitive skin. This is the Kate Somerville. It says soft, Focus Makeup Setting Spray, um, but it has SPF 50, so it's bomb. So I do that, it also smells like flowers. One more thing, put the, the earrings in. I have my earrings in, I'm gonna put my hair in the front. Here I am, this is my final look. Got the glow, got the lips, the eyes. ready to go. Thank you so much for watching. See you later.